A plea for help tonight from detectives in the case of an 18 year old shot and killed riding his bike one year ago today. Kane Coronado's friends fighting to keep his story alive with hopes for an eventual arrest. Julie Dunmeyer has the story. I'm here on Indian Mounds Drive where 18 year old Kane Coronado was killed one year ago today on November 1st, 2022. Kane was riding his bike when he was shot and killed here. Kane's friends remembering him today. Wyoming police detectives, however, hopeful that new attention on this case could bring new leads. Weird, empty, kind of. There's not a day that goes by that none of us don't think about him. Friends remember Kane Coronado for how he lived. Every time we ride, you know, he always feels like he should he should be there with us, you know. Um, it's just weird without him. But it's how Coronado died that concerns Wyoming police detectives, a sketch of a suspect with no person of interest named yet. We're looking for any information on a suspect who is described by a witness as a white male, approximately 30 years old, medium build with a brown or gray scruffy beard. Detectives holding a press conference on Wednesday, pleading with the public for information. How do you keep cases like this from going cold? <clears throat> this helps. Kane died on this one way road, Indian Mounds Drive, a road, according to police, frequented by bicyclists, runners and transients. He was shot and killed in broad daylight. What we can say is that we followed up on every possible lead. Uh, to explore that he may have been targeted uh, by somebody he knew and there, we found no evidence that you know he was targeted or that there was any kind of retaliation against him specifically. A vehicle similar to a 2005 Chevy Cavalier is what detectives say the suspect was driving before he took off north on Indian Mounds Drive and allegedly onto the freeway. We followed up on you know 40 plus tips provided by Silent Observer over the last year. We've collected a lot of evidence on scene. Still, detectives and friends hoping someone saw something and will speak up. We're always fighting for justice. Never a day that goes by that we're not. A small memorial remains here for Kane Coronado to remember his life. Silent Observer has increased the amount of money that they're offering for a reward for a tip that leads to an arrest to $5,000. You can contact Silent Observer and always remain 100% anonymous. Reporting in Wyoming, Julie Dunmeyer, Fox 17 News.